In this lesson, we're going to work on finding an unknown number uh, where percents are involved. And uh, we'll talk about this bullet up at the top about the percent equation, but I'm going to wait till the end to really talk in any detail about that. Um, so what I want to do is uh, answer the question being asked in these two examples um, without worrying about this, this percent equation that we have up here um, and then see how what we did applies to what we see in that equation. So uh, as we go through here, we'll, I'm going to give a couple of um, a couple of guidelines that are going to be useful for you, not just in these types of problems, but um, throughout your mathematical career. So the first of those is whenever we're talking about a percentage of something or a fraction of something, this word of pretty much always means times. Okay, of will always mean times. And the word is in mathematics pretty much always means equals. And then finally, when we're working with percents, um, usually to do mathematical operations with percents, we're going to need that percent to be in decimal form. So when I write 125% down here, I want to write it as 1.25. So we're going to put that in decimal form. And then I'm just going to drop my 55 straight down. And what number? Well, for an unknown number, we tend to like to use the letter X. So we'll go ahead and do that here. All right, so to clean this up, taking 125% of 55 is the same as taking 1.25 times 55 and that's going to give us our unknown number. All right, so we need to just perform that multiplication here. All right, and 625, bring a zero down, and we'll just get the same digits again. All right, and of course, there's two decimal places in 1.25, so I'll put decimal point two places over. So we get 68.75 equals x. And so kind of a concluding statement we can make here is that 125 percent of 55 is 68.75. And let's at least see if this is reasonable. 125 percent is greater than 100 percent so it makes sense that 125% of 55 should be larger than 55. Okay. Now let's apply some of these same principles to the next example. So it says 8 is 0.5% of what number? Okay, so 8 is means equals. And then remember, instead of using 0.5%, we will write it in decimal form. So move that decimal to the left two places. So this will be 0.005. The word of means times. And then what number? We put some variable in its place there, but I'll just use x again. So what we have here is 8 equals 0.005 times x. All right. Now remember when we solved proportions, when we had a number times an unknown equals a number, we got the unknown by itself by dividing by the coefficient in front. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 0 0.005. That isolates x on the right side. And then on the left side, we just need to carry out that division. So we have 8 divided by 0 0.005. But remember, we can't divide by a decimal. So we move the decimal point to the right three places here. But then we have to move it, of course, to the right three places in the dividend as well. So what we end up with is the division problem we really need to do here is 
8,000 divided by 5. So 5 goes into 8 one time. Get a remainder of 3, drop our 0 down. 5 goes into 36 times exactly, so we get a remainder of 0. But since there's two zeros left here, we'll add zeros up there. So we end up with our unknown being 1600. So it turns out that 8 is 0.5% of 1600. Okay, and again, this makes sense because 8 is much smaller than 1600, but 0.5% is a very small percentage. So I think we can feel fairly comfortable about our answer here. All right. So in both cases, notice we ended up with something times something equals something else. Um, and this, in this case, something equals something times something else. And so whenever we're answering these types of questions um, where we're talking about a percentage of a number and uh, wanting to know what that amount is, they're all going to end up looking like this when we set up our equation. So in general, um, the percent equation is amount equals percent times base. Okay, and this times will correspond usually to the word of, the equals corresponds usually to the word is, um, but they'll all kind of break down like this. And this amount equals percent times base is, a, is an equation we're going to use over and over and over again. Okay, um, and so just a couple little notes about the different parts of this uh, equation. The way to identify the base is we always, so this is kind of a little separate thing here from the rest of the examples, you're always going to take a percentage of the base. So most people have no problem identifying what the percent is in a problem, but they might uh, have trouble figuring out which number is the amount, which number is the base. Okay, well the way to remember is the base is always what you're taking a percentage of. So in this problem, 55 is the base, the unknown number was the amount because we're taking 125% of 55. In this one, the unknown was the base and 8 was the amount because we're taking 0.5% of that unknown number.